Hello, my name is Dr. Ali Parsa and I'm an OBGYN physician at Southern Ocean Medical Center. Today I will be talking to you about iron deficiency anemia during pregnancy. Iron deficiency anemia is the most common cause of anemia during pregnancy. In a normal pregnancy, around 1,000 mg of iron is required by the pregnant mom. However, most women do not have this amount of stored iron in their body and this is mostly because of the menstruations or recurrent pregnancies or lactation. So it's important that pregnant women be monitored for um, iron deficiency anemia during their pregnancy. Um, clin uh, most clinicians diagnose anemia by a uh, hemoglobin of 11 or a hematocrit of 32. And during pregnancy, there is a degree of physiologic anemia because uh, the plasma volume expands to prepare for the blood loss during the delivery, and also the red blood cell mass will also increase. So this increasing red blood cell mass will require additional iron. So around 500 milligrams of iron is required for the red blood cells during pregnancy, and also the fetus and placenta will require additional iron. Now, you might wonder, well, what kind of symptoms am I going to have uh, if I have iron deficiency anemia? Most women uh, complain of headaches, irritability, weakness uh, when they have iron deficiency anemia. And this can be easily um, diagnosed um, during your prenatal care by uh, measuring uh, your hemoglobin or hematocrit, or we can also measure the uh, ferritin level, which is a stored level of iron. Um, now, for the treatment, um, the prenatal vitamins that are taken by women is not sufficient to um, fix iron deficiency anemia. So women that have severe iron deficiency anemia need to take an additional iron tablet by mouth. The problem with the iron therapy by mouth is that it doesn't um, sit well on your stomach and it may cause stomach pain, nausea, vomiting. And iron is pretty much, it's not really uh, absorbed well by, uh, by your small intestines. What you want to do, you want to make sure you uh, take an iron tablet on an empty stomach and sometimes acidic environment uh, will help uh, ad, um, the absorption of iron. So if you want to take a vitamin C tablet along with your iron, iron it will help absorb iron. For people that take antacids, um, you need to know that antacids will prevent absorption of iron. So uh, if you do want to take an antacid, take it uh, two to three hours after you take your iron tablet. And if you do have a lot of side effects from PO iron, speak with your OBGYN physician. There is a liquid form available that will um, also, uh, will, which, which has less side effects than the iron tablet. We also have an um, IV form of iron available for women that just cannot tolerate the PO or the liquid form. Uh, however, it's more expensive and sometimes it can cause uh, more side effects. Uh, and in conclusion, uh, although iron deficiency anemia is uh, very common uh, during the pregnancy, you need to know that uh, your um, fetus will not be harmed if you are severely iron deficient. Your fetus will um, take the required iron um, from your iron stores. However, the goal here is that we want to prevent the pregnant mom from um, getting blood transfusion um, after delivery. Because if you start at a low um, blood count uh, after uh, during the delivery with the blood loss that happens, and uh, sometimes you might require blood transfusion uh, for low blood counts. Um, again, um, make sure you speak with your OBGYN physician if you have any signs and symptoms um, of anemia. Thank you very much and hope to see you at Southern Ocean Medical Center.